Alright, Goyam, we need to talk. Let's talk. I've seen the cat all around. I've seen the Goyam doing as the Goyam do. And it's just gotta stop. <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you guys. I mean, we've tried to explain a number of tactics to the Goyam. And, you know, us Hasidic masters just simply can't seem to get it through exactly what the proper way of going about organizing your RuneScape character is. So today, we're going to uh, enlighten you about a specific way of playing the game I would like to call Delayed Gratification. So what is Delayed Gratification? Gratification is holding out for a later reward by denying, you know, pleasure in the present for potential future gains, right? So we're looking at something here where we're saying, if I do this at a later point, I can reap the benefits instead of doing it now. A novel concept I know, and this is usually what differentiates successful people from not successful people. Shock, surprise, I know. Like, there may or may not be a reason why something like 0.2% of the population seems to contain all of the highest positions of power in any given state. I mean, we can talk about the 109 countries later, but... Let's focus on certain elements that seem to benefit them above all others, shall we? So, the way I have built this cringe iron meme, basically a character that I pretty much only play during work, I'm sadly a full-time wagey, although I could retire, I probably, I don't know, I might, I'm getting kind of bored of the wagey life actually, but that's another tangent, maybe another video, but... So, I initially started this character the same way everyone starts their frickin' Iron Meme, uh, focusing on a lot of questing at the start. And that was fun, obviously everyone loves the initial stages. I delayed Winter Todd a little bit, because I wanted to get Bon Voyage out, and I'm not gonna like go through everything I did, because that'd be autistic and take ten frickin' years, and who wants to bother with something like that? But, you know, I started off unlocking Bon Voyage and getting birdhouses, Hard diaries so that I could get that constant free battle stabs a day. 
every couple of days, at once every two weeks, I go and I high elk them while training it the agility. And that's gotten that fairly decently high as well, and it's bankrolled most of my other activities. And so, um, let's get into the delayed gratification, though. That was just like the early game of messing around, having fun sort of business, right? It's not really any sort of long-term or interesting strategy. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm pretty sure most people that play Iron Memes know that the method for prayer is using a spell in the Archer spellbook called Demonic Offering. And the way you get this skill up is usually through Slayer. And you need a Wrath Runes to cast that spell, as well as the level 92 variant, um, whatever it is that does bones or they would do some back bones, basically. And to make Wrath Runes, you're going to need to for Runes Crafting, which is where I'm going next, uh huh? I've got the Dale already banked, it's just I have to go do it, and I haven't bothered doing it yet. But yeah, you basically don't want to really do Slayer. But that's basically the start of the Iron Man. Do your mini games and your quests. Wow, shocking. But yeah, um, and then before you actually want to advance and train any Slayer or Prayer, you should get 95 rune crafting just to have that in the bank so you can slay on the Archer Spellbook. One of the great things about having your quest cape completed too is that you can then have a fairy ring in your home, and you have basically a construction cape for free for when you're on the arcade spellbook or you want to go and swap or do whatever. Um, and you should also complete the elite lumberage before you begin. I still need like five more smithing levels. I think that's all I need for the elite lumberage. This is uh, where the diaries are at. I'm still not 100 combats, so I'm bothered with this. I had never got assigned. Slayer, I primarily did point boosting, so tutorial skipping, and then just doing it every time from Connor, and we got to 69, and then the XP from Quest pushed me over to that. Plus, I'm on like a Warcath Slayer pass right now, all Blue Dragon, so I occasionally kill Warcath whenever I feel like rewarding myself. Not very rare because I am obviously human and full of sin, and I deserve to suffer. So the amount of suffering I must experience. Take over. 
lizard, the egg hatching, all that, but eventually um, you can get to that point pretty easily. And I didn't do anything special either, you know, just being a fucking insult version or whatever, lasting this amount of time, you're guaranteed to rack up currency. Like, life is very cheap, especially when you live a minimalist lifestyle. These are probably all the artistic rants that you go on at some point in time and make a horrible video out of. But, who doesn't love horrible videos? I know I'm doing it, and really, I'm going to be doing content that I think is just more stream of consciousness and just like being snide. Ooh, who could have thought snide being snide? And dismissive towards everything and everything else. Well, that's another autistic tension. Let's stop that, but I'm not feeling it today, so we're just going with that. do that sometime this weekend, just get the 84 grab a boost uh, from the Giants Foundry and then I'm done. I'm doing Giants Foundry. I think I have enough materials. I'm not sure. How much do I actually have? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I, I never calc anything out. I just kind of do it. And if I'm over, great. If I'm under, oh well. Calc is EXP waste, as one would say. Um, but yeah. So I should probably go through every skill and just say what I'm going to do about it. Uh, don't care, don't care, don't care. All this is Slayer, so this doesn't really count. Like, this entire block is just kind of tied with this, and I'll get 99. I want to get 85 in this and this, 85 range in Mage, before I, and a little bit higher prayer, before I start doing Corrupted Gauntlet. So I am going to reward myself with some Slayer post of 85. sure if I'm actually going to use the super combats when I can make them, though. I'm definitely making them early on, but as far as popping them, I don't think I want to before I can make them into divines. It just seems like a waste, personally. Mm. I'll have to see, because it's like super strengths and defenses are what's holding you back on these, so it might make sense to save them, but it also might not. Mm. I'll have to think about that. 
it might just depend on the place, but I'm going to be very hesitant to use any combats before I can make super comms. And let's see. And fishing, obviously I'm just going to do whatever gets me XP that's valuable, angler fish, you know. Uh, there is an argument for doing barbarian fishing, even though it reduces my total Sussy, but at the same time, it's probably not a bad idea if I want to max very quickly, but I'm probably going to try and enjoy Slayer and actually play the account soon. So that's not really on the table. Uh, for thieving, I'm just going to do Master Farms tonight. I already have my seed box and forks and everything, so I just do it currently whenever I need seeds to keep up the runs, but sometime in the future. Refuse to do Kingdom of Miscellanea just because I don't like it, and that's all there is to it, and I don't do things that I don't want to do. So, there. And yes, I'm fully aware that's not ideal. Deal with it. Fletching, I'm just going to make broad arrows like everyone else does. It's just money. I'll get the money for this from Corrupted Gauntlet and from Slayer, so that shouldn't be that difficult to achieve. Now, let's see, Mage is kind of one that's going to be just as I go. I imagine most of this is coming from like teleports, charging fire orbs. It'll eventually come from bursting from Slayer. I do want to get this to 90 relatively quickly from bursting task. I'm not sure when I'm going to stop Slayer again and do the Bofa grind. And that's probably going to tie into this level too, because if I can hit this to 80 relatively early on, or I mean 90, and get this to like 85, that's really going to make uh, the corrupted gauntlet less of a Oh, 
choice in my early game teleports to a bank, like, the eye teleport is amazing early on, and, you know, the last you take it, uh, there's some ones that are also an issue, you know, which is one where you're swapping TV to different places in Slayer. So this is basically the only thing I really enjoy, and I'm kind of afraid to put the Slayer hat on, because I'm not going to take it off once I Whether you take that as a, in a religious context or not, that's up to you. Wherever your, you think your morality comes from, but certainly for the things you do and the way you organize your dopamine in your life, it's imperative that it at least make sense rather than be something you just throw around willy nilly. A lot of people seem to think that you know a, some sort of hedonistic dopamine rush now, no matter what me me me, is going to get them at least fulfilled and towards their goals and. As a renowned autistic schizo, I, sell, I happen to disagree. And let me tell you what, my opinion certainly matters. Especially more than yours, no matter what. Especially about your own life. Let me, in fact, tell you how to lead your life after I tell you how to play your Iron Man. You might as well honestly just send me your account info and let me do it for you at this point. But, uh, on another autistic tangent, let's stop that there. and then you know, I'll just do AFK Proselyte Slayer. I don't know if I want to rush Bofa and focus mainly on range. I think I'd rather get the melee's XP rather than working up range because I can cannon and most of my PVM is going to be from range, so I'm counting on that to carry the XP in range. And construction, um, yeah, I'm just going to do Teak Mahogany Homes, uh, maybe Mahogany at some point. I'm not doing Kingdom of Miscellaneous, so I plan to chop them all myself for 90 woodcutting. I think I only need to chop like, I think I have 5,000 planks now or something, so I only need to chop like, what is it, probably like 25, 30,000, somewhere between there, uh, more takes, which, that'll take a bit, but it's an Iron Man, it's not a big deal. Hunter, I'm just doing Herbivore at this point, I did Birdhouses to 80, and then I'll do Herbivore, and Quest to XP, you know, that carries. And yeah, that's pretty much what I plan to do for every skill and how I got in here at least. So about controlling dopamine, I've seen a lot of people like you know, say this is a dopamine simulator, and they're like rushing for the next big dopamine hit. That's why a lot of like these area locked are kind of feel like successful, and why it's so fulfilling to them is because they're regulating their dopamine like you would like a you know delayed gratification response. Just innate. It's almost like if you do good things in the universe, the universe rewards you. Your brain rewards you. 
talking, I know you can draw whatever religious connotations you can from that. But I'm still not even sure if I'm religious, by the way. It's kind of interesting because I'm this half Jew American, right? Like, it's unfortunate, but you know, I'm not pure British. Like, I do have dual citizenship, but you know, the mother was not Jewish in my case, so. Outside of RuneScape and uh, Blowing Glass, which is the most exciting thing in the universe, while well, I shitpost in a video, um, let's see, in real life, I'm thinking about quitting my job. I actually work as a uh, heckin' data recovery technician, and I do like freelance computer programming on the side, but who cares? Fucking nerdy virgin bullshit. Anyways, but yeah, it's actually pretty satisfying, but I kinda, it's not that I don't like it anymore, it's just that I don't really need to work anymore. I kind of want to go back to being in meat. Uh, just from dividends and such, you know, not financial advice. Uh, anyone who said, believes anything I say is a complete idiot. But, um, you know, I kind of make more income from that passively than I need to live, right? So, decided to now. Uh, the main reason being that like uh, family has passed away, so it's no longer bringing pain upon them. I am the supreme patriarch of my household. Well, not my household, my family lineage now. I live alone, so yeah. Shocking. It's pretty 
crazy how old I am. Like, I as an internet, I was raised basically by the internet, so as an internet personality myself, someone that's existed more online than in the real world, despite my real world successes. Who knows, delayed gratification. Again, very useful skill if you want to apply it to anything in life, including your real life. Not just your video games, but... Um, yeah, so, as someone who's raised on the internet, and it's basically as a personal incarnation of fortune, like, one of the old Fs, as one would say, uh, just watching the way the internet and things have developed, it's very sad. This is probably another video, but maybe I'll go into, like, dead internet, or why the internet isn't as exciting as it used to be, or why it isn't as interesting. It's not just, it doesn't just come down to the fact that there's no invasion. just a video to talk about RuneScape or what I currently play and what I'm doing with life. Where I'm going. But yeah. Do I quit my job, become a neat, and just play video games all day again? I have enough good boy points to cash in. Hmm. I don't know. It, it also brings... Like, at least for me, it's not that I dislike working. It's fine. I get a lot of satisfaction. Like, I don't know if you've ever worked as a data recovery technician, but, you know, you're basically, like, recovering valuable data for a business, family photos, all sorts of stuff, you know, and there's an immense amount of satisfaction, and you get the emails from people, or you get their data off of, you know, assuming you hope this case. So, there's a lot that goes into that that's super, super rewarding, and definitely is a uh, specialized industry, and it's also one where you need connections to get into, and if there's one thing I have, nepotism, so thank goodness for that, but, yeah, I don't know, uh, it's a tough decision, tinky tinky, it's like, meh. oh by the way, the reason I never showed my fate, I think I explained it earlier, but it's because I didn't want to trouble my family, I have a semi-famous dad, and maybe I'll go into like my lineage and history and all that, 
As for Slayer, I'm really excited to uh, not have to ever do any sort of one-take flipping on this account or have to do a lot of that boring stuff and all that I already know. My goal is pretty much I'm just going to rock the so I pray to piety and whack things and drink crock pots. Pray and protect from hell when I run out of food or if I need to. But it shouldn't be that bad. so many ways to get mage exp like if i really felt like it i can just make plank 25,000 times right and that's pretty much good enough or you know whatever teleports i have like a billion law rooms and i'll have a billion more by the time i'm 95 and let's see it's like 185,000 day out from 95 to 99 i did count that one out i'm sorry so hmm Flash, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow the glass, you fucking nerd. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Do you guys want to join me on a farm run? I kind of want to join me on a farm run. I think this will be the last inventory before I grab some seeds. When's my new done? Oh, God. It's never going to be done. It's, it's heckin' over. I mean, it's, it is heckin' over. This is about P, so it's only downhill from here, friends, I'm sorry to say. There was never any uphill either, so it's both basically just free falling out into the black abyss. I think that's a pretty accurate description of virtually everything, but let's see here. Which seed do I want to do? I feel like doing 2-2-2. Two, two, two. No, let's, uh, let's, let's do a highlighter. stayed up pretty late last night. I actually woke up at a disgusting hour today. I should be ashamed of myself, and I am. So everything is in balance. The universe is correct, at least presently. What do you guys think about music? Do you like it in the videos, or should I, like, heckin' just drop it? 
Or should I like get some copyright free sounds or some kind of nerdy thing? I can go into like maybe later on I'll go into like my like, Arch Linux Rice and all of that nerdy stuff too, because who doesn't want to hear about some random Arch Linux Rice? I know I do. That might be a special. Coffeesburg. I still use like pre-ground beans sometimes and all of that, but and I have this horrible like white woman habit where I will like buy the coffee that has these like scents in them that just make smell really good. Like there's this like Dunkin' Donuts coffee that has uh, this maple scent that just fills up my entire apartment with a set of maple all day every time I brew a cup of it. It's like well, at this point I'm getting a lot more than just a cup of coffee when I buy this, right? So. I kind of can't resist, and I just go for it. Yeah, I'm not using any spell filtering now, because I was doing ZMI, and ZMI, I kind of want the spells in the same place every time, just so I can click quickly. I don't want to show me the air, but you actually kind of want to be efficient in ZMI. Anything where I'm wasting my precious stamps. Ugh. I mean, I could just do, like, blood and soul, just do anything I can grab but I don't want to. I'd rather have a larger, more diverse set of rooms, because...
by the way. Fun fact, I have killed 80 Nespori. 80 of them, that's 8-0. Eight, 8 like the 8th letter of the alphabet, and 8. I still do not have my bottomless compost bucket. Do I deserve this? Probably. I probably deserve to suffer in every single cost, but... Yeah, my house setup is not ideal. This should be over here, that should be over there, and swapped around, but it was like that for some specific, specific autistic skilling reason, so don't worry about it. I'll fix it later. Oh, I want to plant. Let's plant these. Do, do I, oh, wait, I don't want to harvest those, though. No. Hmm. I need to plant something. Uh, hmm. How absolutely annoying. Let's do this one first so I can do 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 and then do 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 do. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's efficient. That's thinking on the macro scale. That's like, yeah, dude, huge brain, colossal cranium moment, dude. Magnificent brain. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. side of its little beady eyes and this little enterprise is going to enjoy my video games with me and talk to me about it. Did I? Super compost? Wait, does this have ultra in it? Did I just mess up? Yeah, it's got ultra. What am I doing, dude? My god, I'm freaking out over nothing. I went from having a massive cranium to being the smoothest of brain to being the roundest of circles. A perfect circle, one could say my intellect was at this point. I have failed. I am sorry. <sighs> oh well. At least I'm still trying to be efficient, right? Not really either. Like, this is not efficient to begin with. I should be using the spell that fertilizes so often.
this is the first time where I've actually been directly on the money with, uh, you Especially if I do ZMI all the way to 99 and just max from crafting through that. Man, uh, the future is looking bright as far as that goes. Watermelons. I need to go farm up more watermelons at some point, but I have to pick a billion more seeds. Alright. Sadly, bros, it was a good talk. A good pep talk. I, I agree with everything you said and I respect your viewpoints. Uh, I'm glad that they perfectly align with mine, no matter what, you know, and I would just like to say that that was productive, and, uh, yeah. I won't deny you guys getting to watch me close the bin, and then I'm gonna go probably, uh, back to... I wanna put this in the bank. Probably back to blind glass, gonna get my steps in for the day, maybe do some, do some little, little exercise -y on this fine Saturday, and then, uh... We'll see, we'll see where I end up, but yeah. So, that's out. That's the start of my RuneScape progress. How cringe. Very cringe. Uh, the lighting is garbage because of blackout curtains. I love these. Sorry, I, I just don't want to leave you guys just yet, you know. But I'm afraid I have to, just because it's already been 54 minutes, and I'm terribly sorry for wasting all of your time. Mm. 